Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories. In this episode, we will discuss the scientists renewing the face of an ancient Egyptian monarch. After 3,400 years of his passing, an Egyptian monarch regarded as the wealthiest man in history has had his face recreated by scientists. According to a New York Post report, this is the first time Tutankhamun's ancestor, Amenhotep III, has had his face restored. At the height of Egypt's supremacy in the 14th century BC, Amenhotep III ruled and was revered as a living god. He guided the nation through a time of immense wealth and global dominance. With more surviving statues than any previous pharaoh, Amenhotep III is regarded as one of the greatest. How did scientists recreate Amenhotep III's face? Let's see. According to a New York Post report, this is the first time in 3,400 years that the face of Amenhotep III, the grandfather of Tutankhamun, has been recreated. Using information from his mother's skull, an international team was able to reconstruct Amenhotep III's true features. Then, they estimated the size and location of his lips, ears, eyes, and nose using information from living donors. If we are not mistaken, this is the first facial approximation of Amenhotep III. It is our gift to all those who appreciate history, the Post quoted Brazilian graphics designer Cicero Marias, who resurrected the famous pharaoh's face. Cicero Marias said, We were amazed with the final result, seeing a complete bust with these colors and the facial serenity is quite satisfying. Compared to other approximations of pharaohs that I have participated in, this was the most complete too, as we modeled the clothes and accessories. Amenhotep believed that the sun and air deity Amun was his true father, thus the name Amenhotep. He engaged in large construction projects in Nubia and Egypt. Amenhotep III was described by the expert as an almost bald guy with dental issues who was fat, ill, and inactive. At 5 feet and 156 centimeters, he is among the shortest of all the monarchs. He might well have been one of the richest men that ever lived, at least in his epoch, remarked by Dr. Habicht. He passed away in 1352 BC at the age of 40 or 50. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.